Hi guys, Madison Trilla here with Horse Training by Madison. Today I want to talk about how it doesn't matter who you are, what you have, what you've done, um, you can be whatever, whoever you want to be. If you don't have that big trailer, if you don't have a trailer, if you don't even have a horse yet, that doesn't mean you can't be a pro barrel racer. That doesn't mean that you will never be successful or that you won't make it to the top. If you set your mind to something and you're driven and you work really hard and you make a list of your priorities, whatever's on the top of that priority list and you work hard enough, you can achieve it. Just to share a little bit about me and how I started to kind of change my thinking. Um, I spent a lot of years dreaming and wishing and hoping and knowing someday it would all come together if this happened, if I had this, if I had an indoor arena, if I had a bigger trailer, if I had a faster horse, whatever it was, I would make excuses and I would watch that next uh, episode on Netflix of whatever I was into that week and just keep dreaming. And I wasn't seeing results. I know I'm a talented enough, enough writer. Um, I know I have the tools under my belt. I have the internet and research and great peers to be more educated about barrel racing or whatever your goal is, if it's jumping or whatever it is, there are resources out there. But I was spending most of my time dreaming and wishing instead of doing and persevering. And if you can relate to this at all, I hope this video helps you. If you have a hard time getting motivated or if it's a kind of a gloomy day and you don't feel like riding but you know you should, just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Put on your jeans, put on your boots, get in your vehicle, go to the barn, go out to your pasture, go get your horses, get out there and do it. And when you get off your horse after you're done, you will feel so good. <laughs> if you do struggle with motivation um, in any area of your life, a fantastic way to help um, become more of a doer than a thinker. Well, I mean, <laughs> thinking is always great, but you know, you can wish and dream and hope, but putting that, um, your dreams into action takes work. But a great way to start getting you, your body and your thinking rolling in the right direction is writing stuff down. I know you've probably heard this before, or it seems silly, or you're like, oh, I, I know I need to brush my teeth, but whatever. If you struggle with remembering to do those things, write them down. Something about the process, I'm sure there's a lot of science done on it, but I know the process of writing, taking, not just typing it, but not like a notes on your phone, taking a pencil or a pen, writing it down on a piece of paper, putting it in front of you, putting it somewhere you're gonna see all the time helps so much. And then just something as simple as brushing your teeth. Okay, I wanna brush my teeth an extra time today because I think that that would be healthy. And that's something that you want to, that's a priority to you that day. Write it down. And when you are done doing it and you do it, cross that off your list. Do you know how good it will feel? Even if it's something as small as brushing your teeth, crossing that off your list will feel so good. If you have a pile of laundry that you haven't done in two weeks, three weeks, whatever, and you need to get that done, don't think about it. Get to it. Just do it. Don't think about, oh, I don't want to do that. It's going to take me away. Just get to it write it down. When you get done, cross that off, off your list. Sooner or later, when you start doing that stuff, it's not going to have, you're not going to go through that process of, oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, one more Netflix, whatever it is. Your body is just going to, nope, got to get that done. I'm going to go do it. And so then it'll be easier to be motivated. It won't feel like such a chore. If your goal is to be a 1D barrel racer, to have that gooseneck, to have that living quarters trailer, to have whatever it is, write it down. I cannot tell you guys enough how much this has helped me turn from a couch potato with huge hopes and dreams and huge potential and it's turned that into this ball rolling downhill at a thousand miles an hour going in the right direction. It has really, really helped me and I know there's people that out there that can relate that knows they have the potential or they really want to do something but they just are struggling with putting those actions into place, getting the ball rolling, getting motivated to do it, not doubting yourself. Do not limit yourself. When you find yourself having a limiting thought such as, well, I can never do that because I don't have an arena at my house. That is such a limiting thought. Why would you limit yourself like that? Don't tell yourself that. Say, well, I can go ride out my pasture. Or if you can't go ride that day, your truck broke down, you can't whatever, um, and you can't go ride, 
then spend that time that you'd be writing doing something that's going to help that priority of yours. So for me, um, I will go and write down in my calendar, I'll update my calendar and my schedule about what races there are that week and just do things that are going to help my goals in my future. I'm going to write down some things I want to work on with one of my horses. I'm going to write down um, some training programs or I'm going to go back and watch some videos of me barrel racing and really pay attention, slow it down. You can use iMovie or I'm sure an Android that might um, has a maybe a video editing app I'm not sure um, there's a great app called coaches eye that I, I love so much I can't remember it might be 99 cents or 499 either way it's a one-time fee that you pay and it is so worth it you can compare two different runs you can draw on it you can slow it down it's wonderful that's how I spend my time when I can't get out in the arena I just wanted to make this quick video and tell you guys you can do it I still have a bumper pull I still have a Ford Excursion from 2001 that I use. I still have a 13.1 hand pony and a half quarter horse and illusion that I barrel race on and I'm gonna try to be competitive on. I'm still new to YouTube. I'm still new to blogging. I'm still new to doing a lot of things, but the difference is I got my goals in line and you know you've got all those things rattling around your head. Oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do this. I wanna go to the NFR. I wanna write a, I wanna win a check in the 1D. All those things going around in your head. I wanna do laundry write them down. Put them in front of you. Don't write them down and close that book. Put them in front of you where you will be able to see them all the time. I'll show you what I do a little bit. So this right here are um, envelopes with an NPRA membership, a permit application, and a card holder application. And my little schedule. I spend most of my time behind this computer at my desk right here and I look at that all day. And there's other things I'm gonna add to it that are my goals. I put my goal sheet, I have it right in front of me right now, and I'm about to pin that up. And I add to it almost every day, more things that I can think about. I also make lists of what I'd like to do that day, what I'd like to do that week. And when I can cross those things off, even if they've been weighing heavy on my head, and I see it in front of me every single day, it holds me accountable. And when I get across it off, man, let me tell you, it feels so good. And it kind of helps declutter your brain. It doesn't make you so stressed out because you go in a mile a minute with all these things in your head. If you can just brain vomit onto a piece of paper, then take that piece of paper as your rough draft, pull out another piece of paper, look at that one, start kind of putting it into, okay, this is top priorities. These are other things. This is what I need to do this week. It'll help you stay less stressed, more focused, get your why, why you're doing all of this, your top, top, top why. If you say, I want to be a 1D barrel racer, why? Because of this. Okay, why? Keep asking yourself why until you cannot answer that question anymore. And it'll really help you focus on what you need to do to achieve those goals. Coffee break. But I just want to let you guys know, if you're a regular girl like me, or guy, that has big hopes, big dreams, start writing stuff down, never have limiting thoughts. If you find yourself having, well, excuse me, don't let your limiting thoughts control you or your actions. Just because you're scared or you have doubts doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. Because let me tell you, I doubted myself for many years and I wish I could take those years back and be in the place where I am now. And I don't want you guys to have any regrets or wish that you could have done things years earlier like I have. So three things I want you to take away from this video. Write things down. I don't care how small they are, <laughs> write them down. Figure out your why. Why are you doing all this? What If you have that goal and you wrote down your goal, why? Really break that down and write it down. Don't just keep it up in your head. Three, don't limit yourself. Never ever limit yourself. The only thing ever limiting you is yourself. I know sometimes we say, well, I don't have the money. Girl, there are ways. There are ways, the future, all you can do is think positive, be positive. What can you do right now that will help you in the future and achieve your goal, no matter how small it counts? I hope this video gave you a little boost that you need. If you have any other questions or need help writing your goals down, or you want a training program for your horse because you're struggling, you're in a slump, contact me. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. Never give up on yourself. Never let anyone tell you that you can, can't, or what you are or what you're not. The only person that can decide that is you. I hope you guys have a lovely day and enjoyed this video. Bye guys.